Hey everybody, welcome back to Entertainment Talk. I've already tried to do this video once, but everything basically cut out. Uh, so I'm going to try again. This is kind of a first impressions video. Um, I've already done some first impressions, I guess you could say. Um, I, was doing, I was doing the tutorial. And uh, let's check our options, because I don't like... Oops. I didn't like the way it controlled... That's me. Press it. Um, all right, let's see how we go. Still need to finish the tutorial, so. Push the right. Move forward to the waypoint. Press and hold. Press square to reload your weapon. Pull the trigger to fire your rifle at the target. What? What? No, I don't remember. You said next week, but which was which would be this week? But I don't remember what date you said. All right. I can't sit here. What are you doing? Move right to the next waypoint. Press and hold L1 to activate the grenade reticule. While holding L1, move the controller to L1. Move right to the next waypoint. Okay, I'm back. Press and hold L2 to activate the C4 icon. While holding L2, move the con- Press L2 to detonate C4. Move through the door to the waypoint to complete the tutorial. Yeah, so my first impressions are basically, um, I like the shooting mechanics and everything, but I don't like the movement that much. Um, we have training, and then we can do the contracts. I've never had a gun pointed in my face in first person before. Um... Which I guess is a good thing. That's very weird. <laughs> Load out. Um, I why does it? Why is he a thing? Oh my god! All right. Um. Oh, it's... Let's just go with assault, assault then. Um, 
Defender, I suppose. Is this a bit like Rainbow Six? This is a bit like Rainbow Six, isn't it? That's still very, very strange. I'm just trying to not look at him because it's just weird. Alright. Um. Let's go with a hotel. God. I was finding that very uncomfortable to play. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I like the shooting mechanics a, a lot with that, but um, I don't like that movement system at all. I thought that was very, very jarring. Um, I don't know if it's to do with how much I've played VR. Whether I haven't played enough or not. Um, but no, I felt... Because you couldn't move like... You know you know when you 
you'd play um a normal first first person shooter and you could move smoothly that had you moving like in little sort of shifts um and i don't know why they have that in this game um again i think that when i was like you know trying to shoot the guy through the through the gym equipment and everything i thought that was great but like having people come at you from different angles and you have to, to turn around and stuff and flashbangs are a terrible idea for vr i think um like when that first came up that was terrible um i feel like what they should do is have um what's it um they should have had like a you remember how what was that game called um, it was called Crisis something, and it was this, it was this game where you had, like, eight different sort of sections, and I know you guys can see, like, a PlayStation screen at the moment, I'm just talking right now, um, it had you, like, moving between different sections where you'd aim in first person, but it would have, like, a, a window you were locked to, I feel like if this game had that, where, where it was, like, windows you could shift between instead of a whole room, I feel like it would work a lot better. I can see what they're going with, where like giving you the freedom to move around, but um, no, I don't think that works very well in in VR. It's just a bit too kind of erratic for this. Uh, but um, yeah, so maybe there's a different game mode on there or something where I could I could do that sort of thing. But like when I was doing the tutorial, the training bit. And uh, it had me start moving around. Um, I I don't feel like that's that's a very good thing to put in the game. Because um, like when I turned around just then, there's a guy like right in front of me. There's a guy on the right. There's a guy on the on the left. Someone's throwing a flashbang, and I'm out of ammo. It's just too chaotic for VR. And maybe in like, because I get where they're going for. They're getting they're going for like a full movement kind of experience. Uh, I just don't feel feel like that works with the, the controls that you get, um, at all, really. Uh, but, like, no, I like the way that, because, you know, you know that thing of if you, if you close your left eye while you're aiming, you can get, like, a, a slightly better view of the scope? You can actually do that in this, and, and I was able to see that red dot sight very clearly, and see where I was shooting. I feel like you pressing a button and moving around and shooting and stuff. That's all really good. But it's just the movement. Um, so I'm going to close the game.